What is up guys, Oddball Reefer here, back at it with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the top five Caribbean fish for your aquarium. As you guys know, I keep a lot of Caribbean species of corals, fish, invertebrates in this system, the Caribbean biotope behind me. Um, and I get a lot of questions, what would be uh, good Caribbean fish to add to people's tank all the time. So I decided to make a top five video today for you guys on the top five Caribbean fish for your aquarium. Let's get to it. Starting off at number five, uh, I have a lot of people that are reaching out to me with like 100 plus gallon tanks. Um, so I'm recommending Spanish hogfish or Cuban hogfish. And now I have a Cuban hogfish in here and yes, it's a 75 gallon. So this is not gonna be its forever home, obviously, because they do get roughly like seven inches or more. Um, same with the Spanish hogfish, they do get relatively big. Um, so yeah, for those tanks that are quite large, I'd recommend uh, Spanish or Cuban hogfish. You can keep them in the reef tanks, but you do gotta watch some of your invertebrates as such as crabs, um, snails. This guy's went after a couple astrea snails. Um, but other than that, they're pretty peaceful. Uh, they like to swim around, kind of hang out in the mid water section, like mid level of the tank. Uh, so pretty sweet. And then they kind of do what parrotfish do. They kind of like perch themselves in a little rock or a crevice at night. Um, so super easy to maintain. They eat pretty much anything they can fit in their mouth. So just keep that in mind for like smaller fish um, if you're gonna keep it in a reef tank. Number four, uh, I'm gonna recommend a red lip blenny. Um, they're really good for al algae control. Um, sometimes I get some algae growing on the gourds uh, that don't open up or that are getting ready to shed. They tend to close up for a couple days and then shed off um, their uh, excess skin. Um, so he'll go around and peck at the gorge, picking off the algae, as well as the glass, and he's chilling up right here. Uh, they do get relatively big, uh, so I'd probably recommend at least 50 gallons or more. Uh, but they are definitely a cool fish to have in the tank. Uh, they don't have too much color, but the red lip is kind of what gives it off. Um, a lot of people like the red lip, and like I said, they do love algae. Uh, they have another name called the horse face bunny. Um, I mean, I guess it looks like a horse. I'm not sure where they got that name, to be honest. But um, anyways... Number three, we're gonna talk about the cherub fish. Uh, the cherub angelfish is relatively small. I'd recommend probably 75 gallons or larger. Um, they can probably get out to like two, two and a half inches. Um, I've seen some pretty big ones on some of my maintenance accounts at my old job. Um, but they are relatively peaceful, but in this specific tank, it was one of the first fish I added and it definitely has become territorial. Uh, so when I notice I add new fish in the tank, he goes berserk and um, tries to protect his territory, but after a few days he tends to kind of lighten up a little bit um, Like I said, he was one of the first so he kind of established this whole tank as his territory and now He has quite a few invaders as you can see Coming in at number two. I do not have any of these currently But I do have uh, a couple other different species of gobies in here and I do plan on adding these soon neon gobies uh, Neon gobies are very easy to keep you can actually get them aquacultured um but there is some that come out of the Atlantic every so often. And if you can get aquacultured, I definitely recommend getting aquacultured um, neon gobies. Uh, but they like to hang out in your rock work and your small little crevices and caves in your rock. Um, but like I said, they have quite a bit of color to the tank that you can get like the yellow stripe ones or the um, blue stripes, uh, the shark nose. Uh, super cool. Um, they tend to like kind of hang out in groups if you get a decent sized group going. And I have witnessed them on uh, other customers' tanks and such. Um, kind of pecking at uh, the fish, kind of cleaning it up because uh, they do have the uh, name Cleaner Goby as well. And then coming in at number one, I recommend the Royal Grandma. Um, I used to have one in here, not entirely sure what happened to it in all honesty. It was doing really well and then it just vanished. So kind of curious myself on what happened. Um, but they are very easy to keep. Um, you can keep them in probably, I'd say, at least 25 gallons or more. And, um, give it some space, they can become territorial. Uh, but they do add a lot of color to the tank. And like I said, they're very easy to keep. Um, I would recommend quarantining them quarantining them for a little bit uh, before you add them to your display tank because they do contract it pretty easily, in my personal opinion, with Royal Grandmas. Um, and that goes for any other basslet as well from the Caribbean, like Black Cap, Swiss Guard, and even the Deep Water Candy basslets. With that said, that is your top five. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more of these, let me know in the comments below. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to be the fish and feed them corals. Cool.